Hey Will, Will, I found a good hiding spot. Here, can you see me? <laughs> this film is in collaboration with BT. At Top Jaw, we certainly put our internet through its paces, firing 6K footage all around the world. BT and their team of home tech experts, legends, make sure that we have the quickest, most reliable and secure internet connection possible. Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. Now, this film is all about them views. Spring is upon us. Things are warming up, and we're all desperate to go explore. So here are some of our absolute must-sees for whenever you're in London. And the best thing is, they are all, apart from one, absolutely free. We're in Richmond Park on Deer Watch, blending into the scenery, covert. Sneaky. So Richmond Park is one of the eight royal parks and is the biggest park in London. Two and a half thousand acres. Yay! 630 red and fallow deer here. And they've really shaped the landscape of what Richmond Park's all about. And they've been here since the 17th century. Fair play. Have you got your swagger in your walk? Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Will and I are very big into our cycling. And one thing we do love is coming and cycling around Richmond Park. It's popular. Yeah, I mean, Derry Down, bro, we're coming for you. So we're now done in the woods, finished in Richmond Park. We're gonna travel a short stone's throw away to the beautiful streets of Notting Hill. Now, if you Google Notting Hill, you will be shown pictures of a very colorful Portobello Road, but we're not here for that. We're gonna grab a coffee and have a little explore of the other part of Nod Hill. So, back in the day, houses like this were just stables and coach houses for the big gaffs behind, at the end of the garden, and right here would be where they sort the horses out. That's why you always have a middle channel, because all the and everything would just run down the middle of the road. Yeah. Is that too much information? Now, fast forward to modern day, and muses like this are some of the most desirable streets in all of London. This is a very pretty one, St Luke's Muse in Notting Hill. This is the little Venice part of Regent's Canal. It actually goes from Kensal Rise all the way to Canary Wharf. You're free to come and roam here as much as you like, but obviously be respectful of the people that live on the water. Will and I love to grab a little bottle of something, sit on the side, dangle our feet in, and play footsie with the fishes. I've always been totally fascinated by the narrowboats Little Venice. It's one of the most beautiful areas in London, and it's kind of a cheap way of living here on one of these narrowboats. A narrowboat with the mooring costs about £150,000, whereas that house right there just sold for £10.5 million. Bit of information for you. There's no Little Venice tube stop, so if you're looking for it, stop. There is Warwick Avenue, Paddington, and Maida Vale, all in walking distance. And get your beers from there, because there ain't a lot of shops right on the canal. Right, time to get back in the car, sunroof off, and on we go to Hampstead. And now, for a short message from our sponsor. We are all working from home more than ever before. So it's never been more important to have high-grade internet all over the home. <laughs> Top Jaw is global. 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 We have. No, no, he does that. You don't do that. You hear that, Scott? You do that, not me. Top Jaw is global. 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 We have editors all over the world. We've got beautiful George and the Dav over in Tel Aviv. We've got the Irish Wolfhound himself, Jack, in Dublin. We have Scotty Too Hotty in Costa del Stratford. We have Sagar lording it up in South East London. And not forgetting, from Russia with love, Rob the Wizard. So we need to send our footage to these guys. Lightning fast. Thank you, Will. We rely on our internet for our edit deadlines. And it must perform. We booked our home tech expert and he came straight to our house just a few days later. And on a Sunday. Say what? Oh, no. 
We're at Hampstead High Street, Northwest London, a little road off it at the highly coveted La Creperie de Hampstead. Now, Will, we've walked past, we've smelt it. It wasn't the plan, but we want it. Question is, sweet or savoury crepe, Will? Oh, that's shame, mate. Do you have cash? No. no. Damn. Can we film this? Let me have a wee. Yeah. A talkie, no talkie? Yeah, whatever you fancy. What a glorious place to be on a glorious day like today. Woof. This hill, formerly known as Traitor's Hill. Why was it called Traitor's Hill, I hear you ask? Not a fuck. Because legend has it that Guy Fawkes and his little comrades stood on the top of this hill looking at Parliament, waiting for it to blow up on November the 5th. Did it happen? No. Did it this film's all about views. When you sat on Hampstead Heath, 98 metres above, looking deep into London, it's about as good as a view gets, I think. High end, mate. High end. It's the old classic, isn't it? Do you put your hands back? Do you put your on your elbows? Both about as uncomfortable as the other. Do you put your leg up? Do you lie on your side? Like that? Something like that? Do I look pretty well? Yeah, mate. Match your trainers. Yeah. It is a little start again. An amazing little tranquil spot right in the middle of the most hectic part of London and punctuated by the fact you can see. Ah, oh, f it, f it. St Dunstan in the East. This place is remarkable. It is a church ruin in the middle of the city of London, nestled in amongst all the skyscrapers and concrete. This church was designed by Sir Christopher Wren, who also designed St Paul's Cathedral. But unfortunately, in 1941, it was a big victim of the Blitz, but now stands here as a public park and memorial. An amazing little tranquil spot in the middle of the most hectic part of London. In the year 950, when this church was first built, it would have been a monumental feat of engineering. However, it's 2021. We're going to our version of monumental engineering. BT send over home tech experts to enhance and optimize the internet. Think of it like one of the amazing chefs we feature coming over to our kitchen to finesse our cooking. Which, to be honest, I can really do with. Oh, there he is now. Hello, mate. If I'm totally honest, we're all over the shop. Keeping a diary is easier said than done for us, so it's mega helpful that BT commit to a two-hour window seven days a week. All right, Tay. Tell us what you're up to. First thing first, I'm making sure your download speed is what it should be. Quite a fruity history on Will's laptop, isn't it, Tony? Oh, you smashed that, Tay. What are you up to now? And now I'm optimizing your Wi Fi signal around your house. Go on, Tay. Pimp my router. Go on, Tay. Go on, Tay. As well as fitting our internet with NOS, Tay here will help to set up all our security features, keeping us safe at home, which is important when you're storing sensitive files such as these. The internet is lightning. The home tech expert becomes a friend for life. Well, kinda. They leave their details behind so you can get in touch if ever you need any techie help. No more re-explaining the same problem 47 times, going around and around in circles in a call centre. Cheers, Tate. Thanks, guys. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to Chop Door. Oh, See you later. He knows. Well, do you feel a bit lightheaded? We are 36 stories up in the highest public park in the world, definitely in London. This is Sky Garden, and we actually made a film about it in 2017 when I was looking very fresh faced. A few pints of lager since that, is it? <laughs> Southwark Tower, London Eye, the old beautiful St Paul's Cathedral. We've got BT Tower and crisp sunset starting to happen along the horizon. This place is not one for the flat earthers because we can really see the curvature of the earth. We are so lucky to be here. It looks so quiet because. 
we've got exclusive access just from filming, just me and Will. This might not be the best time to come and film at Sky Garden, but we were here a little while ago at sunrise and it was. <sighs> Will, do you reckon we can show them some of that juicy business? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was bright and sunny, um, and we just had a bit of cloud cover over, mm. but... Magic of cinema, right? Yeah, it looks like it's clearing up. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts Tired of staring out the window Eating too much, drinking too much We are in Vauxhall on the South Bank, standing on the Thames. Now, on the water, you will see private boats, party boats, restaurant boats. But did you know that there are 20 boats that you can get on using just your Oyster card or bank card. You can commute on these boats or you can grab a few juicy numbers and just enjoy your time in a leisurely manner. So for a single ticket journey it's about seven pounds but you can ride it as far as you like. Many other sightseeing boats will charge you a lot lot more money but we're right in the middle of Thames at the feet a parliament. I got to get my feet out the door. So put me on the train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out the wild. No more driving today, so we're finishing it off with a Cali Pale, which tastes even better in the sunshine. And I don't know whether you can, I'm pretty sure you can drink on here. On the website, there's a picture of a guy with a bulmer. So this has been a spectacular day weather-wise, but I challenge you to spend a better seven pounds in any way on anything in London than doing what we're doing right now. I've seen everything in this beautiful sunset, highly recommend. And that's it, thank you for watching. Big thanks to BT for making this happen. Have the best time exploring guys, tag us on your pics, even if they are just of your sh See you next time. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, 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 hold up. What are they gonna do, Will? Grab the top. They're gonna subscribe. Give us a click, give us a like, comment, tell us where's your favorite place that we have featured in this film. We wanna know, and then we wanna see you there.